Are you ready to shift yourself to the most optimal timeline in the quickest way possible? If so, this video is for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt Schmidt and I guide people to heal themselves. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking you through a journey, a meditation, to align with the most optimal timeline for you and really anchor that in. And by doing that, by anchoring this in in the subconscious mind, uh, we can align with that version of ourselves and get there a lot quicker. So I recommend doing this for 21 days to really hardwire this in so that the rest of you follows. This will hardwire this into your, into your subconscious mind and the rest of you will align with that version of you that you want to become. So the reason this works is basically, without getting too convoluted, there's an infinite version number of versions of you that exist simultaneously um, in this quantum perspective of things. They exist simultaneously, and the one that you're experiencing is the one that you, al you are aligned with. So basically, it's like all the radio stations are playing right now, but the one you're experiencing, the one that you're able to hear, is the one that you're dialed into. So what we're doing is basically shifting you to that version of you that aligns with what you want to align with. So this is pretty simple. Um, the concept is pretty simple, but the some of the key pieces are, first of all, realizing what the heck you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how many people have never even thought about what they want, uh, especially if you're in survival mode for so long, um, or you're just barely staying afloat, living day to day, uh, you haven't really thought about what you want. Now it's time to start thinking, okay? Um, you've, we've all had glimpses of good days and stuff like that, so um, take your best day. You can start there if you're having trouble with this. But think about what you really want. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's starting to do your passion, something that really drives you and feeds your soul. Um, whatever it is, put that at the center of your focus. And we'll help to get you there. Another key piece is letting go of how we get there. Don't get too attached to the outcome. If you hyper-focus on this, it's almost like you push it away. Um, it, it stays just out of reach because you're kind of in this vibration of just wanting. So it, it reminds me of that uh, infomercial. You just set it and forget it <laughs> and let go of how you get there. And you'll be surprised. Maybe it comes to you in a better way than you could have imagined. But you wouldn't have got there if you're like, oh, it has to be like this. And then this has to happen. This has to happen. Well, you're putting all these conditions and limitations on it. Maybe that's not how it's supposed to come to you. So you're really blocking the process. So for me, it was just stepping back, getting out of my own way <laughs> and allowing this stuff to get me where, where I need to. And I was amazed at how so fast some of this happens. Um, some of this stuff happens so fast. I'm like, I got to come up with, with new, <laughs> uh, new things that I want, new goals, um, because stuff happened quicker than I had even expected it. So, but part of me was getting out of my own way and letting that come to me in the best way possible. All right. So I'm going to invite you to get somewhere comfortable, uh, a place where you're free of distractions and I'm going to guide you through this process. Remember, you can come back to this anytime you want. Like I said, I recommend doing this for 21 days to get the most out of this. And after this, I'd love you to share your comments with maybe what you intended, maybe what that direction was, how this is working for you, maybe keeping a log of the days as you go through this, um, as these things get easier to go through and align with. Things will get clearer. Things will get crisper. Um, yeah, I encourage you to share your journey. All right, now that you're somewhere comfortable, I'm going to invite you to put your hands over your heart. Putting our hands over our heart, our awareness over our heart, on our heart. Electro uh, amplifies our intention. The electromagnetic energy of the heart is about a thousand times that of the head. So by putting our hands there, it amplifies this process. I'm just going to invite you to close your eyes, take a nice, big, slow, deep breath, and then you can repeat either out loud or in your mind, I intend to align with the optimal version of myself.
and I intend to let go of how I get there. Good. Now take a nice, big, slow, deep breath. As you exhale, just allow that breath to flow from your head all the way down to the tips of your toes, relaxing your entire body. Now I want you to bring to mind all of the things that have been holding you back thus far. All of the things that have been holding you back before this. You don't have to say them out loud. Just kind of make a list in your mind. Maybe it's the fear of change. Maybe it's fear of the unknown. Uh, maybe it's judgment. Fear of judgment from others. Maybe you're feeling like you're not good enough or you don't deserve this. It could even be expectations, labels, limitations put on you by others that you've adopted as your own. Whatever it is, just allow all those things to bubble up. Allow them to come to the surface. We often say, feel it to heal it. If you're feeling uncomfortable in your body, maybe like a tightness in your chest, a pit in your stomach, a headache, excellent. <laughs> you're on the right track. God, allow them to come up from all the parts of your body. Now I want you to imagine handing them over. Put all those into your hands. You can pull them from the parts of your body, place them in your hands and hand them over to your higher self, your higher power, the universe, whatever resonates with you. Keep taking big, slow, deep breaths in this process to assist that energy in moving. Your higher self, the universe says, I know what you want. You can trust the process, feel that burden lift. As you let go of the control, let go of the outcome and fully surrender to the process, however this looks. Your ego, your analytical mind doesn't have to do so much. It doesn't have to figure out so much. It doesn't have to work so hard. Feel that weight, feel that burden lift off. Knowing you can trust the universe. And this may come to you in a better way than you could have ever imagined. Further letting go of how you get there, how that looks. Good. Take a nice, big, deep breath. And just allow that breath to flow from your head all the way down to the tips of your toes, almost like a wave washing through your body. Releasing any debris, anything that's been keeping you stuck, anything you've been hanging on to that's been holding you back, anything you've been clinging to that's been keeping you stuck. With each big deep breath, another wave. Almost like an electrical scan going through the body. Freeing up any energetic connections, anything you've been tied to in the past that's been holding you back. Releasing that fear, the judgment, that feeling of not being good enough. Any expectations, limitations, labels, whatever it is. Allowing them to release back into the past. 
None of this serves you in the future. Now put out the thought, the intention, to ask if there's any guidance for you to help you shift or any guidance for you to help you not slip back into old patterns, old ways. And trust whatever comes to mind. Now thank the higher self, your higher self, the universe, your higher power. <sighs> Sending out so much love, so much gratitude from your heart for all the guidance and help you've been given, all the assistance you've been given in letting go. And then I'm going to invite you to just breathe in deeply one more time. And just allow your mind and body to move forward in time, just drifting and floating, moving forward in time. And I want you to envision yourself on your most optimal timeline. Maybe it's in that relationship that you've been waiting for. Maybe it's doing your passion. Maybe it's just living in joy, contentment being happy with what you have, whatever it is. See yourself doing it now. See it in full detail. Who's there with you? Where are you? What are you doing? Import, more importantly, notice the energy of your future self. How does your energy look? Are you light, free, happy? That, feel, that feeling is the fuel, is the oomph to get you there. What do you notice when you look into your eyes? Do you no longer feel empty? Do you feel fulfilled, content, happy? What do you notice when you look deep into your eyes? Now breathe yourself deeply into that body. Merge your consciousness. Merge yourself with that future aspect of you. Take a nice, big, deep breath to breathe yourself fully into that body. Just become aware of how you feel. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? And take a nice, slow, deep breath and allow that to anchor in with the breath deep into all the cells of your body, deep, deep into your core. Anchor this in with the breath. This is you. This is where you're headed. Soak in that vibration. Soak in that feeling. All that stuff from the past that's been holding you back, none of it exists here. 
This is you on your most optimal timeline. And now that you've merged yourself with this future you, ask yourself if there's any advice on how they got there. How did this future you get to where they are today in this scene? Trust whatever guidance they have for you. Take another nice, big, deep breath. Now, as you exhale, just kind of gently come back. Back into the room where you began. Knowing that you've made a major shift in your life. And it's even easier now to align with that version of you that you want to become. Make sure you mark this video so that you can return to this for 21 days to really hardwire in this new timeline. Hardwire this in and the rest of you will follow. Thanks again for joining me guys. We'll see you on the next video.